Hi everyone, welcome to study physics. Here's the question 16. An infinitely long thin cylindrical cell has its axis coinciding with the z axis. It carries a surface charge density sigma 0 cos phi where phi is the polar angle and sigma 0 is a constant. The magnitude of the electric field inside the cylinder is. So first this is an infinitely long cylinder. This is center and they said the surface charge density which is sigma is sigma 0 cos phi and we know sigma is dq dA which is area sigma 0 cos phi okay so let's take a ring and if its radius is r and here is the small angle d phi and the length of the cylinder is l then area will be dq by r d phi l is sigma 0 cos phi now dq by L equal to sigma 0 cos phi R d phi we know dq by dl is linear charge density d lambda which is sigma 0 cos phi R d phi now let's just assume this is a rod for rod we know for rod electric field d a is d lambda by 2 pi epsilon 0 r just put this value of d lambda sigma 0 cos phi r d phi by 2 pi epsilon 0 r r r will be cancelled out so sigma 0 cos phi d phi by 2 pi epsilon 0 we know the total electric field E is d a cos phi from this we can write sigma 0 cos phi this is cos square phi d phi by 2 pi epsilon 0 let's just integrate this value sigma 0 by 2 pi epsilon 0 0 to 2 pi cos square phi d phi pi epsilon 0 0 to 2 pi this is ok this is 2 cos square phi is then this is 4 we know 2 cos square phi is 1 plus cos 2 phi 1 plus cos 2 phi d phi sigma by 4 pi epsilon naught uh, phi plus of sine 2 phi divided by 2 0 to 2 pi this term will be 0 for 2 pi and 0 also and sigma by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 2 pi 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 will be cancelled out 2 so sigma by 2 epsilon 0 so the correct answer is sigma 0 by 2 epsilon naught thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe